it's me, Pam Benny. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I want to share uh, today with you this journal. I had it mostly made and I just embellished it some more. Why not, right? So um, I'll show you that. And then this will be listed, I, I believe, in my Etsy. And then I got some happy mail from a wonderful, supportive YouTuber, Gardens and Books, from Naomi. How sweet of you. Thank you. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that is so sweet. She made a beautiful, like a Valentine's card. That is so pretty. And then she fashioned a envelope. Isn't that cute? Wrap that around. Oh, how sweet. That is cute. Look at the uh, little hearts on the inside. And look at the beautiful, wow stamps she has like valentine stamps here those are pretty isn't that pretty paper cute she's got looks like a brad oh yeah look at the brad the heart brad isn't that pretty and then a little tag that's hanging from there february 14th what a cute idea what did i do just drop something out yes i did and then we have a um love wax seal this is a dimensional heart and look how cute has an airplane perfect so sweet of you and then she's got a little uh, quote from frank lloyd wright and we have some homes like that in the grand rapids michigan area uh, Got wonderful architecture from Frank Lloyd Wright Holmes. The longer I live, the more beautiful life becomes. That's awesome. And this journal YouTube community is awesome. Uh, she doesn't have a channel, um, but she's a very supportive, sweet um, supporter of a lot of channels. Look at this cute little Valentine stuck in here. How cute. Get lost in a daydream. That's really pretty. That's beautiful. I love that. I wonder, well, I could put that in my new journal, but I think I need to look at it for a while. Oh, look at these cute she must have made with, oh, I love birds. This is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? That would make a um, such a pretty pocket or journal card. So sweet. And then we have these little postcards that you could decorate. And then she has a note. Pam, hello from Gardens and Books. Just sending a belated thank you gift for sending me a thoughtful gift with my past purchase. I so appreciate it. Happy Valentine's Day soon. Love your craftiest friend, Gardens and Books. That is so sweet. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Love it. Thank you. Very kind. And now I will show you the um, journal that I had made a while back, but then I um, decided to embellish it some more. Why not? And this, I had pieced together the cover, but anyway, first I'll show you the tie. This was a lace. Then I added this dark green seam binding. And then this, uh, it's really soft, um, yarn like that. So I sewed that all together and then I added little leaves to the bottom. Okay, dropping everything. Pretty. So you can have that tie. 
And then you can make it even chunkier if you'd like. But this has been pieced together. This is um, kind of like an upholstery. So you've got a lot of texture. This is like a velvety, velvety. So yeah, lots of texture. And then you have some leaves sticking out. This is like a nature type journal. Let's look inside. Okay, so inside I have burlap. I added this burlap pocket. And it's burlap on the back too. Um, added this acorn. And I, I'm using some digitals from Anton, I believe his name is. Just a few in here. Uh, the next journal I'll be using more and I'll, uh, uh, more of his uh, ephemera or digitals. Then I brought, got this from my book, Woodpeckers. We have a lot of those here that kind of tells about them. Then we have another little journal card added to this leaf and a little fibers here. Backed it. We have, um, this is a different digital, and I think it's, well, I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember. I have so many digitals, it's hard to remember. And sometimes I just have them, you know, already printed up, so I can't remember. But um, look at these beautiful soft tassels here. That is a little label. And then we have this little card. This is part of a um, uh, packaging. And then I added paper and a little plant sticker. Backed it with some paper. We've got a white pine here, information. And this is 1990, I think. 1980. We have a little CD case here that I had dyed, added um, some soft trim and little leaves here, and then you've got a bird. Let me open it up. And this is a beautiful bird, and I did some stitching around it. It's from a bird book. Magnolia Warbler. And dye paper, coffee dye paper. And that's the other side of it. And then I did a little stamp. Um, this is from a book. It's not even Holden, but similar. And I can't think of it. And it was like from a date book. Did a little stamping on this coffee dyed paper. And this was from a book. And it's got a couple little poems that had been stitched together. There's a pretty bird there, a robin, that I did some um, stenciling or stamping here. Or maybe it's from the other side. Yeah, the other side is stamped. And then I added this sticker. And then, yeah, stamped here. And then I added this trim. Then here we have the tag and uh, with some fibers backed with some paper. This is a coffee dyed envelope that I um, have a piece, a bird, and uh, from a book. And then I have some sewing here. And then inside the pocket, we have telling about the blue gray gnat catcher, and it's dyed um, index card. Your coffee dyed uh, ledger type paper, and then here's a really fun stamp I have. Then I have a cluster, and then I added some mushrooms stickers, and then I did some stitching along the side. And you can see the pretty 
some of the pretty leaves here. A little sticker. There's the stitching. This is kind of like that handmade type paper here. This is from a bird book and it opens up. I did a little punch here. Then I cut this out and backed it. And we have a couple little tags that I backed. This is like vintage, like um, paper that you could trace. You can see a little bit of the tracing, but I like that vintage look to it. A cute little leaf here. Another little bird. Look at dove. So many birds. And they're beautiful. I love birds. A couple little places to journal that I backed with paper. Dyed, and then I um, stamped, and then this is a little paper uh, embossed leaf. Copy dyed, and then I love this book here. And then there's some little, um, it's got a texture to it. A little poem there. Not pretty. Then I have a little fabric cluster. And then we have some leaves, some burlap, and a little wood button. Label. This is some wallpaper. There's a butterfly. I like to add little. You know, little swirls to it. And then I added the, I also like to do this with some fibers. Got some bird paper here. And a few things. This really cute vintage playing card with a bird. And then this is some scrapbook paper. And I added this feather. Added this little tab. There's that vintage like tracing type paper. And then we I had embossed this. Added this here, and it's a little um you know where you found you know sightings of birds there. You could put down. A little sticker here. A little place to write. Did a stamping there. This is a digital paper. And then this is from a children's vintage bird book. You know, one of those shape books. Coffee dyed paper. And this is part of an envelope. Then I have a little leaf and some fibers, and I added that uh, mushroom stamp. And inside, we have a little tag. The envelope has been dyed with green and browns. And then on this side, I added a little burlap and a little piece of bird paper. Here's a, another um, flag card. A little paper here. And then this is just a little place to write. Hope you're doing good. I'm having a little bit of the winter blues. Just just very cloudy and uh, not real sunny. So, uh, you know, right about now I'm ready for spring or something else. <laughs> um, this has, it's a paper and it has just a little print of, looks like plants. And I tore it and inked it. Did a little collaging here. Um, you can see the like little trim here, vintage trim here and here. And then I added these like little paper 
leaves, I added um, some like faux old tape here and here just to kind of strengthen it. And then we have two birds and it tells about them on the back. And then in the, this is the center and I have a little leaf here and then I have a squirrel and a green mushroom and a little leaf. So that's the middle, the signature. It's one signature. Some pretty uh, digital papers. Just did a little collage there, tore the papers, inked it. I uh, added this little paper leaf and a butterfly. This is the other side of that envelope. And I have a little bird stamp, little tape. And inside, we have a little place to write, a little booklet with some papers. And then in the top, I have this collaged um, tag. Was it here? Some stitching, stitching here. There's like a paper doily and washi tape, I think, and just papers and a label, another label, and this flower. A little dyed doily and dyed, a little uh, flower here, and a little sequin in the middle, a little faux stamp. And on this side, this opens up. And then I pieced it, and then I added this trim, coffee dyed, so this can open up. And then it has um, some pretty sequins and a butterfly. And this is a little tuck here that's been sewn. That cute bird book. Little bird. Notes. Added a little sticker. And here we have the handmade paper. A little cluster here with leaves and things. And inside we have this tag with fibers. And this card that is a scan, and then I just stitched and added a label and added paper and stickers. That paper there. And then I backed it. Here's that wallpaper. And I added a little textured butterfly and we have this tag which was a scan and I added paper um, stitching a little fabric collage at the top a little butterfly a little flower and a leaf and then I backed it with some paper here's just a little um, kind of an envelope which you can untie and then open up. And then you have a little tag. It says design in nature. And what you can do is do a little project. I'll just tie that later. And this is the wallpaper. Sturdy pocket. Added a sticker here. The dyed paper. This is from that book. So pretty. Coffee dyed ledger. We have a little stamp and a little um, paper leaf. And then here, I uh, made a little pocket, turned that up, 
And we got this tag that I added stickers to and backed. Dyed coffee dyed index with a little paper textured uh, die cut and a little paper there. And then did some more cutting here or punching the birds. And then I, um, oh, I got to put something right here. I forgot. But I backed this so it's thicker. And just a couple little tags, a little scrap paper to add a cute little note. And then a little sticker and this kind of a textured um, paper with little plants in it. And we have a beautiful bird book. Coffee dyed, a little uh, label and that textured butterfly. Beautiful bird. Dyed. Have a little seed pack and a little sticker. I sewed around here. Added a little tag. And then inside, we have a little journal card and another dyed index card with a, a little sticker or a fern. On this side is a really beautiful fall um, plant card and a dyed index card and then I added this is that a stamp that's a stamp stamp that dyed paper and then this is a little paper doily with some pretty butterflies and you could probably tuck something here it's from a book smallest creatures and a little poem this has a little collaging and here dyed. And this is that something Henry paper from a day book. This has some little birds here, little um, washi tape with feathers and a little paper there. And then it's been dyed. And then here, a little collaging, stamping, washi dye doily sticker and a little tag with a stamp flowers a little label and then this opens up this is like from an address book this is a really pretty wallpaper with dip bunnies and then in the pocket I did some a lot of collaging sticker and then I have a little leaf to get then this I made into a pocket I uh, added part of that wallpaper a little butterfly I have this little stem of um, leaves we have this and a little collaging, stamping, <clears throat> another little tag, and then this beautiful page from a bird book. And you can see some of this uh, trim here right along here and then here's the last Got a little band here and then there's uh and this is a soft cover and it has a little flower and a button you can see some of the leaves poking out here and in here i have uh, this can be used as a writing board. 
you know, to put in between the pages so that you can write. Like if you wanted to write here, you could put that behind there and you have a nice flat surface. And then we have this cute little uh, jar and we've got leaves. And then I added this flower in a little center. Isn't that cute? So that is the journal that I made with this little tie. And um, I, I will have it listed in my Etsy. And I just thank you so much for uh, stopping by. And we will see you next time. Bye.